Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be exploring the fascinating world of OpenAI technology and its application in your daily work. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use OpenAI's language processing capabilities to send Slack channel messages to your team automatically on daily basis. So here, this automation is going to keep your team engaged and informed. Okay, and it will also save your time and manual efforts and we are going to set up this automation without any coding. Let's begin. So we are using Pabli Connect to set up this automation and this is the landing page of Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation tool. So from here you can sign up for free from the link given in the description and you will get free automation tasks for setting up your automations. Okay. So after signing up, you can sign in and select Pabli Connect product to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here, click on this create workflow button, give a name to your workflow, then click on create. So I have given the name and I'm clicking on create. And as you click on create, the workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So these are the basic building blocks of our automation. Trigger is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated response or the consequence of the trigger. In this use case guys, I want that on my Slack channel where my team is present, daily a motivational quote will be sent automatically. I am not going to search any quote, I am not going to manually type the message, I am just going to do my work. It will happen automatically on my behalf. Okay on daily basis for that first of all i'm going to schedule this workflow to run on daily basis for that in the trigger i'm going to use scheduler feature of pabli search for scheduler here okay you can see schedule by pabli is here and here it will it will ask how often you want to run your workflow so i want to run it every day so we have many options here once every day day of the week date of the month i'm selecting every day here you can choose a specific time on which you want to send a message. So I'm selecting, let's say 10 a.m. Okay, in the morning, then click on save and this workflow will be scheduled like this to run every day on this time. Okay. And what I want, I want that OpenAI should generate a motivational code for my team and send it to Slack. So here in the action step, I'm going to select open AI. Okay. And here I'm going to select the action event now, which is generate content Then click on connect button from here, select add new connection. And here it will ask for the API key or the token of OpenAI. So you will get this key. Uh, if you are logged in in OpenAI, you just have to click here on this keys link and this page will open up here. You can generate a key. So I have already many keys generated. Let me just delete the previous keys okay now i'm going to click on create new key here you can give a name if you want and then click on create secret key and the, here's how the key will be generated you just have to copy it and paste it here like this and then click on save and you will be connected with openai okay then it will ask to select the artificial intelligence model so we have more many models here and this is the mostly used one text davinci 003 so i'm going to select this here you have to provide a prompt okay so the prompt is most important thing in using openai prompt is a kind of command that you have to provide to openai to get something done from it okay so here you have to uh, type the commands like let me just show you you can uh, check the prompts format by clicking here from the documentation of openai you can see how the commands or so the or the prompts work so let me just provide a prompt here so here i've provided the prompt as this write a motivational quote for my team and here it is asking for the tokens so uh, you need to enter tokens to generate content so token is like number of words that openai is going to generate so default value is this let me just use the default value i am leaving this blank and here you have to select the sampling technique. So we have only two techniques. You can choose any one here in the sampling value. You can put values between zero to one point seven is the default value. 
I'm going to use the default value only, okay? Then you can uh, use these features. These are some technical features. You can use it or you may not as per your wish. Stop sequence is a kind of sequence, symbolic sequence that you can provide to say to OpenAI when to stop generating content, okay? So you can enter a stop sequence using some symbols. Here it is showing best of options. So here you can select best of two, best of three, best of four. I'm selecting best of two so that OpenAI resample the generated content two times and give me the best results out of two. Okay. After that, click on save and send test request button and your code will be ready in a few seconds like this. Here you can see it has generated this choices zero text label and here you can see the code generated. Success is not final. Failure is not feral. It is the courage to continue that counts. As a quote by Winston Churchill given by OpenAI. So it is going to give us unique, um, unique course every time it is going to work. Okay. Now guys, after getting this coach, I want to send it to my Slack channel for that to happen. Just click here to add another action step here. Search for Slack. Okay. Then select the action event as send channel message and click on connect button. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Slack. Here it will ask for the token type. So to connect with Slack, you have to enter, you have to use the token types. We have two token types here, user or bot. And for each token type, we have different kind of access scopes in Slack. So you can learn about this access scopes by clicking on this here word and you will reach the forum page of Slack, uh, sorry, Pabli. And here you can see uh, the token types. If you use user, you will get these access permissions. If you use bot, you will get these access permissions. So you can choose any option. I am right. I am choosing here user for now. Okay. Then click on save and then it will bring you to the login window if you're not logged in, but I have already logged in. So it is just, it will ask to select your space. So we have these spaces you can select. Let's say I'm selecting Pavli connect. Okay, then you have to provide these permissions, click on allow, and you will be connected with Slack. All right, and after this, it will ask to select a channel on which you want to send a message. So here you can see, uh, this is my Slack channel. And this is a, this is a Slack application. And this is a channel named as Pabli dash team. Okay, this is a channel I have, and I want to send the course here. So I'm going to select Pavli team channel name. Here you can see. Then it will ask for the message that you want to send. So let I'm going to uh, send a message like this. Today's motivational or just today's motivation. Okay. And here I'm going to put an enter. And in the new line, I'm going to map this label that I have received in the Previous step here we get the, here we got this uh, code generated by OpenAI. So I'm going to map this choices zero text label here in this message. So just click here, and the previous steps will appear here in the drop down. And from the second step, map this choices zero text label. So when you map the label like this, every time this workflow is going to execute, the label is going to change, and a new code will be sent. To your team automatically. Now it is asking for the images. So we are not sending any images. So you can leave these things blank. We are not using any bot. So leave these blanks. We are not sending any links. So if you are using all these things, you can use these fields. Finally, you can check your connection with Slack by clicking on save and send test request button. And a test message will be sent to this channel. Let us see. I'm clicking on save and send test request button here. This is the response we got. Let's see in my channel if we got a message. And here you can see we have received a message. Today's motivation. Success is not fail final. Failure is not feral. This is the same code generated by OpenAI. And my team got it there on the channel. This is how it is going to work, guys. So you have to set up it on set up this automation only once. After that, on daily basis, motivational quotes will be sent on your behalf to your team on your Slack channel automatically. 
and you can use this workflow as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description. You can clone this workflow through, the, through that link in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the rate You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.